Hello again, do-it-yourselfers. Welcome to another video short on some current topics. Now today I'm going to make an attempt to repair an aftermarket iPhone charge cord here that quit working on me, so let's see what I can do with that. All right, so before we get started, you might ask yourself, why would you bother trying to repair one of these aftermarket iPhone or iPad charge cords when they're only maybe 10 bucks? So the reason for that is, what if you were somewhere where you couldn't get at one and you needed to recharge your phone? Now, this one just started breaking down on us. It, uh, here's the end that we cut off, or I cut off just started malfunctioning for a while there it would only work if you plugged it in one way if you flipped it 180 degrees it would no longer charge the phone and then that morphed into quitting altogether where you could not make it work so what I did is using this end to show you I looked at it closely and I could see there was a little kink in the blue external neoprene rubber here and so when I pulled on it just a wee bit it stretched and Tell you what, copper doesn't stretch, so you know the cord, the cables inside or the wires inside are broken. And sure enough, I just pulled it apart and it snapped. And all these wires, four of these little tiny wires were broke evenly at the same spot, just outside of the insulator or the collar that was on this here. So let's try to get at this and see if we can do something if you had to do it in an emergency case where you needed to recharge your phone. So. Let's get out our soldering stuff, our tools of the trade for soldering wires together and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to zoom in for a close-up with the GoPro, show you that as well. But basically I've got these four wires displaced together. Red, white, green and black. Now individually, I'm going to insulate them. I'm going to strip off a little bit of 14 gauge solid wire here and individually I'm going to try to slide over that piece of insulation onto each individual conductor and I'm also going to then put on this shrink sleeve over top of everything and then try to get that shrink sleeve over all my splices and shrink it down and see if we can make some kind of a repair here that looks half decent so let's get into a close-up here and show you what I'm going to do all right, so I'm going to try to make a kind of a nice job of this, but however, if you were in kind of an emergency situation, you probably wouldn't go to all this trouble. You would just try to splice it together the best you could. Maybe use some tape to insulate the connections. We're dealing with a low, low voltage here. Five volts or so is all that the USB charge, charge voltage is for your iPhone that comes in on your USB cable. But... I'm going to try to do it up nice. So here I am sliding on the what's going to be my final covering of some blue shrink sleeve. I even match the color here of the cable. So slide that over for now out of the way. Then I stripped off some of that 14 gauge solid conductor. And I don't know if you can see that, but I got little chunks of insulation from the wire, from the copper wire. So I'm going to slide that over each one of these conductors. So I made four of them. Oh, that worked. And the fourth one. So there we go. We've got those little insulated pieces slid over. Now the idea is I'm going to solder these wires together and try to do a nice job and not make it too thick. And then I'll be able to slide these insulators back over, slide the shrink sleeve over everything, and shrink it down. So I'm going to set up with my little solder mate here. First I'll strip every one of these wires. My Crocs, they go down to 22 gauge, so we'll see if that works any better. And it did, so that must be 22 gauge much better. Got a video on my channel reviewing these croc wire strippers. Excellent tool. Highly recommended. Okay, that's the cable end. Now the connector end. We'll try to strip these little guys. This 
So again, would you ever pay somebody to fix this cord for $10 to buy a new one? No. But sometimes I like to challenge myself and see if these things can be done. Okay, I've got them all stripped. I'm going to put them into my solder mate. Another device I've did a review on from the website for the YouTube channel, I should say, and the website. Okay, so there I've got one soldered, the black one, and I've got the insulation slid over it. I uh, took me a little while to do it, so I didn't want to show the whole thing and bore you to death. And it's not easy. I'll give it that. We'll keep working away here. Next one is the green one. So I'm going to push everything else out of the way. And then work on soldering the green ones together. Got to twist them together so the strands aren't sticking out. Otherwise, that little piece of insulation isn't going to slide over. Okay, put this back into the solder mate to try to get that splice made. Okay, looks like I've got all four soldered here. Took a lot longer than what we're going to show you on this video because you'd probably fall asleep Waiting for it to happen, sliding every one of these little pieces of insulation over the splice, splices, all four in place. Now let's see if I can slide that shrink sleeve over everything. It's pretty tight on the blue jacket here, so that's the problem is it's not sliding very easily, but okay. Shrink sleeve is on. We'll just take a heat gun and shrink that down and we'll go see if it works. Now, if you don't have a heat gun, a proper heat gun, I think a hair dryer will work on the highest temperature setting. So let's give it a try. Shrunk down on there pretty good. Show you that. Now let's give it a shot. All right, so here's the big moment of truth. Just to give you the more dramatic approach here. Black screen. Plug it in. Charging. Flip it over. Charging. So there you have it. Another successful repair job of a aftermarket iPhone charge cord here. Would I recommend trying this? Not if you don't want to really frustrate yourself, I wouldn't bother. However, if you were in a bind and you needed to fix it, it can be done. Now, if you will, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it a lot. Make a comment if you'd like in the comment section below. It really helps out the algorithm. It really helps me get towards that magic 100,000 subscribers. So we're almost there. We're in the final 10,000 subscriber stretch. Thanks for watching. Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician.